Hey guys, I filmed another tutorial for you guys today. This is the look right here. It is a very bold, smoky eye. I tried something different. I put on some false eyelashes. This look slash routine that I did in the video is how I do my cheer makeup for my cheer competitions. For example, this weekend I have a cheer competition and this is the look that I am going to be creating when I go to that competition. So if you guys want to see how I get the look, then keep on watching. So I already applied my cleanser. Now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O. I am running out of this stuff so quick. It feels so good. This is only the travel size. So I'm still all out of foundation. I'm so sad about it, but I'm going to take some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just put some on my forehead, and it looks really nice. I didn't use any foundation. I'm just taking this. This is color Fair Claire, and I'm putting it under my eyes. And I put some color corrector on. And I'm putting this on my chin as well. I'm going to give some more full coverage to my cheeks. I'm still taking the same concealer. But I'm just going to put it on my lower cheeks just like you would to a foundation. But, you know, I don't have any foundation. I'm just blending this in with a damn beauty blender. And then to set all of that concealer, because we don't want it to move, I'm going to take some Sephora powder in color 15, play Morphe E6 brush, and I'm just going to put this everywhere where I put the concealer, even at my neck, like I always say, because I want it to be blended out with my face as well. So I just went and put on some brows. I never do my brows on camera just because I literally use one brow product. I use the Benefit Goof Proof. So that's why I don't do them. If you guys want to see a video on that, I can definitely do that for you guys if you want. But for the eyes, I'm going to take the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced Cosmetics. This is their travel size. It's a 24-hour anti-crease. And I just put this on with my finger, and then I blend it out with a damp. So since I'm doing my cheer competition makeup look, um, I use the Morphe 35F palette because for our makeup they want us to do like a black smoky eye like they want us to wear black eyeshadow and like shimmer and they want us to wear like a wing so i'm gonna use the black um not the black but the 35f by morphe and i'm first gonna take this color right here it's like a really pretty sorbet color this is gonna be our transition shade i'm using the r so like i said i'm taking this color right here it's like a really pretty sorbet color and my morphe r37 brush this is going in my crease because this is going to be our transition shade. I'm just focusing it in the crease and blending it up. For our brow bone highlight, before I forget, I'm taking the Too Faced Eggnog Latte Palette in the color right here. It's called Frosty Nog with a flat brush. I'm going to put this on my brow bone as well in the inner corner to darken our transition shade up even more because we're going to go into a black color so we're going to start off light and then we're going to go darker and darker i'm going to take where is it this color which is a lot darker than this color so we're going to start darkening up our transition shade and this is gonna also go in our crease to start darkening. So as we start darkening up the color, that is what it should look like. We're just going in the crease, not all the way down. We're just focusing mostly in the outer, but still going in a little bit more. But we are just darkening up the crease color, like I said, because we are gonna do like um, a black eyeshadow, so it's gonna get very dark. So I just scooted in a little bit so you guys could see it a little bit better, but this is what it looks like when you start to darken it up. When you go into darker colors, especially if you're gonna be working with blacks, which we are in this video, the key is to just blend and blend and blend. You wanna take little product as you can in the beginning, and then you can start building it up because you can't take so much product and then go lighter or it's just going to be way too much so that's why you want to take a little by little and then that will start getting now we're going to even darken up that brown color even more we're not moving on to the black shade just yet we're going to take this color right here this is just going to darken up our outer corner even more to get prepared for the black color which we are going to do 
next. The eye brush that I've been using this whole time is the Morphe R37 brush. It's a really good blending. Okay, and now we're going to go on to the dark eyeshadow. This is kind of like this scary part, but all you have to do is blend, 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 and make sure that you do not pick up so much product in the beginning to start to build it up. Now we're going to go in with the black shade and with the same R37 brush that I've been using the whole time. Just want to pick it up just a little bit because you don't want to get too much because black is a very dark color. That's what I have behind me right now and it's very dark. And I am just doing what I did in the rest and I'm just going to start darkening it up. So as you can tell, this eye is getting a lot more darker than this eye. I'm just getting black little by little and I'm putting it in the crease bringing it down and darkening it up. I'm not bringing it all the way in because then I could look like a raccoon very quick. So that's why I'm taking a little black product by little black product and going very, very lightly, making sure I'm not going all the way in because I do not want to look like a raccoon. So I'm still gonna go darker and darker because I can still see our transition color and that brown color. And I don't want it to be a brown smoky eye. I want it to be like a more black smoky eye so now i'm just gonna keep on picking up the black products and making sure that i'm going back and forth because i i don't really want to see the brown if you guys like it like this you can leave it like this it's still pretty great but i kind of want it darker because i want it to be more black than so black. this is pretty dark for me i'm i just went back in with the frosty nog shade and i'm gonna put a little bit more on my brow bone just because i don't want black under my brow bone and I don't want black all the way up to my brows so that's why I'm going to take that white shade so I make sure that's not too dark. Up so this is pretty good for me. I'm going to take some glitter glue now on this tart brush because we are going to be putting some glitter on like our inner corner and it's kind of going to be like a darker glitter shade. I want it to stay, so that's why I'm taking So I'm going to be very careful when I apply this glitter. This is from the eggnog palette right here called Cold Brew. Why I'm going to be careful is because it's more of a darker glitter, and we're going to be applying it to our inner corner, and I don't want it to be too, too dark. I'm mostly going to focus it, like, on the lid, but I'm going to bring it a little bit in the inner corner it's like a silverly black so this is our very very dark eye you want to be very careful when you do the lower lash line because we're going to take this color first the sorbet color and then we're going to go to this color why you want to be careful is because you could also become a raccoon super quick if you either do too much black or you do it too thick so it is a very dark eye i did not want to bring the black all the way in because i thought that would have been way too dark because this is already dark if you guys think that the lower lash line is already too dark do not do the black then um just go with something really light but now for mascara i'm taking the lancome eyelash next for mascara i'm taking the urban decay perversion mascara i'm obsessed with this mascara it makes my eyelashes really really long look at that okay i am back and i am back with some big false lashes oh my gosh these things are huge but i love them they are the ardell lashes in color they're color black in um style 113 and they are huge and for my bottom mascara i used the travel size better than sex mascara by Too faced for all these lashes so i always do bronzer or like contour on competition days so i'm taking the hula bronzer by benefit my morphe r14 brush and this because i cannot put this in the right place to save my life so i'm taking this r14 brush and then i'm going in with the r10 brush just to blend it in a little gives like a nice bronze to our face. Now for highlighter, I'm taking my Tarte Swamp Queen palette. I'm obsessed with the highlighter here called Gator Wings with my Morphe M310 brush. And I'm just putting this on my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. And for blush, I'm taking the Papa Don't Peach blush by Too Faced and this E4 brush. And I'm just putting this in between the highlighter and the contour. Or so now time for the lips. I have no clue who this is by. It's it says that, but I can't really read it. This is just the lip color that they gave us last year, and I haven't gone out 
to go and like get one similar to it. It's very chalky. That's the only thing that I hate about it, but it's the lip color that we're supposed to use, so I'm gonna do it. I know it kind of looks crazy now, but this is the lip color that we have to do with it. So I know it kind of looks crazy, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you guys were just to wear this eye look, I would definitely do a nude lip with it, that's for sure. But to make this all set, I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I did four squirts, and that should make it stay for about 16 hours. Okay, guys, and this is the finish look. This is the look that I do when I go to my cheer competitions. I have one this weekend in Palm Springs for my birthday. Whoop, whoop. And anyways, if you guys were just to do this look anyways, you guys can definitely do the smoky eye with these bold eyelashes. I would recommend, though, just going out with a nude lip. But, you know, if you like the bold lips and the bold eyes, you go, girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, but, you know, different is good, right? If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And comment down below if you have any more videos that I'd like to see. See you guys on the next one. Bye.